presentation, just I have one request, if you please. Can you clap for two thanks? It is for catching a picture. Thanks. So, all people have some behavior that they would like to change or they would like to help others to change their behavior in a positive way. So maybe it is your kid, your brother and sister, or maybe your best friend, right? We all just use this deep rooted belief that if we scare people, if fear is induced, then it will get them to act. But no, it is not. Yeah, maybe it is some kind of reasonable assumption, but except for the fact that the science shows this kind of wordings have very limited impact on our behavior. So, let's make an example. You want to stop yourself from snacking, and what do you say yourself? You'll say in a monologue, be weird, you'll be fat. Or if this is your, if this is your best friend, you just say you have to stop right now, you'll be dead in the future, or maybe you'll be in a big, big trouble. So what we are really trying to do here is scare ourselves, right? And others, and it's not just us. Warnings and threats are so common in health campaigns or even in policy. So why we are so resistant to warnings? Why? Let's think about animals. If you scare an animal, the most common response you'll get is freezing or fleeing, right? And humans are the same. If somebody threatens you, you just shut down and you don't know what to do. Maybe you just try to eliminate your negative feelings inside you or you just use your rationalization. For example, a smoker person will say, I have a grandpa who smoked and he lived to be 90. Can you imagine 90 years with smoking, right? So as you can see, this process, I mean warnings, makes us more resilient than before. That's why these warnings have sometimes gloomy effect. And researchers want to find out which kind of information does leak into people? And they test as an experiment. They asked approximately 100 person to estimate the likelihood of hearing loss in the future. And they, for example, asked, I maybe ask you, what is the likelihood of suffering from in the future? I mean, hearing loss. And maybe you say it is approximately 4 person. And then I'll give you an opinion of two experts. Expert A says it is approximately maybe 50 person. And then expert B says, it is approximately 60%. So what should you do? You change your beliefs according to the good information. I mean, all people hear the good information that they expect instead of warnings or threats. So in order to motivate people, we have three main principles. The first one is social incentive. Next. What is exactly social incentive? Yeah? How we can use it? As you know, we all are social people, right? We care about what others are saying and what others are doing. And at that time, we want to do the same action, but we want to stand out in the public, right? We want to show off ourselves in front of others. So if we really motivate people to change their behaviors, we have to tell them how well they are doing. You are improving. You are trying to be perfect. Because all people care about their future. And the second one is and the second one is immediate rewards. What is immediate reward? All people, all people, no matter what your age, maybe you will be 20, 30, 40, maybe even 60, you care about the certain thing right now rather than something in the future. Because you know, we all want to be rich, we all want to be healthy, all, all just we want to find out our own space in the society, right? So, in order to just inspire them to motivate their behavior, to create their better worship in themselves, we have to just give an immediate reward for good performance in the future. And the last principle is progress monitoring. What is progress? What is? In order to motivate them, we have to highlight the progress, not the decline. Instead of when you see your best friend be smoking, right? You have to say instead of just you will be dead or blah blah blah. You have to say you have to stop right now and you will stay healthy and you will be just better at sports, right? You have to use good information to inspire them. So that's why all people just value their progress. If you can show their progress, exact progress, and I mean if you can show their well performance and then they can change their behavior. Before I sum up, I want to say that fear, fear of losing money or fear of losing anything else induces actions.
exit in X-Men while the thrill of again 